Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make animated catalogue icons for your shop items. So obviously you're going to want to open the product in create mode. Um, this is just a standard product, I mean these aren't my textures, I'm just using it for example purposes. Um, so first of all what you're going to want to do is you want to get a decent picture of your product. So what I usually do is do the high res, no background. You enter that and it will automatically open up and save on your desktop. So then what you're going to do is you're going to open it. There it is. You're going to open it in Photoshop or GIMP. I'm not sure how GIMP works. This is a Photoshop tutorial, so that's the program that I'm going to be using. So what I would usually do now is resize it before I take it over to the icon. Because obviously with it being a high res photo, it's going to be very, very big in comparison to the tiny little icon. So you can see it needs still adjusting a little bit, making it a bit smaller. You just need to fill about with it really until you've got it the size that you want it. Okay, so I'm happy with that size now. I'm going to click enter. So I obviously want to show the rest of the hair without the face being too small. So what you would then do is hold shift and alt at the same time. Hold them down while you drag it up like that. Then you can let go. You can do this multiple times, depends how many you would like, you know, how long the hair is really. So then you'll see down here that you've got your layers in the bottom right corner. What you need to do now is you need to hold down Shift and Alt again, and this layer 1 needs moving down and down, like so. Same with the background. The aim here is to have three pictures so that you can make the animation of the three different poses. So now what you're going to want to do is merge down the different pictures. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. And then what you need to do, I mean my window is already open, but you need to go to window, download, go to timeline, then this will pop up. You want to click on create frame animation, then this little window down here, click the drop down menu, make frames from layers, click that. Now you'll see that you have three layers here. Now you want to make sure that they're going to go from one to the other smoothly. So you'll click on here again click tween, take out the opacity, change frames to add to two, click OK. You want to do it the same with this one as well. So as before, tween, it's already set up for you, click OK, and there you go, you're done. So you want to click the first one, it's really hard to explain actually, the first one here, 0 0.5 by use, 0 0.5, this is like how many seconds it will take to go from one to the other. And then the last one needs to be 0 0.5 as well. Click play and you can see it's swapping from one to the other. But you notice that it only did it once. That's because down here you need to swap that from once to forever. And if I click play, it will play continuously, which is perfect for the catalogue. Now to save it, you need to save it as an export. You click on export, go to save for web, or oh, there's the hotkeys obviously, but for displaying in, you know, save for web. Click save, change it to icon or whatever you can remember, that's saved now. And then if I was going to publish this, which I'm not going to publish now because textures aren't done, you click on the icon and there you have your animated icon thanks for watching thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this bye